Brooklyn. My name is Luis. I work part time at Starbucks as a barista. So uh, I want to know how many of you here are heavy coffee drinkers, which means you guys in general, on average have five cups uh, a week. Okay, great, nice. Uh, so today I'm going to share with you a really trendy coffee brewing equipment today, which is this baby arrow price. I don't have hands, but. <laughs> Okay, so I'll start from people saying that your coffee drinking method or brewing method tells something about you, right? So uh, just give me a random thing that you guys always use for brewing your own coffee. What is that? French fries? B60? Uh, espresso. Espresso, okay. So people are making fun of different brewing methods. The espresso lover, you probably have a New Yorker subscription, but you never read it. On the contrary to that, people who love V60 maybe have a New Yorker subscription. Sometimes you raise it. Um, ouch, right? So uh, all of those uh, all of those brewing methods kind of has their own downsides which set limits to when, where, or how often you brew your favorite coffee. So we'll go into details. Uh, for example, Camax and uh, V60 are definitely poor over lovers' favorite friends. They are fancy, but they are with too high amendments. They have such a demanding requirement for a uh, brand, brand size, and the water, water temperature preparation. You have to rinse your filter, get rid of the smell of the paper, and then you have to get rid of the water, and that's when you start a real brew, right? So these methods are really elegant, yet they are so small. And then for those who like espresso and uh, mocha pot, really great and sexy uh, brewing method, but with zero probability. Um, you, can, you can't even push your espresso machine one inch because they're so heavy, and then for the mocha pot, you need naked fire, you can't even make, make it outside of your kitchen. They are really delicate, but they are really not flexible. And then uh, the price family. French fries, a lot of people like, you don't have to put a lot of energy, you don't have to uh, worry about it, you just set the bread there and wait for three or four minutes and then you are done. But that's actually not the truth. It, it only seems practical, which is really the opposite in reality. Think about when you are washing the French fries. You have to wash the cover, you have to wash the filter, you have to, when the filter is stuck with the coffee brand, you have to wash it just forever. And then you have to wash thoroughly the vessel inside and out. It takes how long? It's amazing, you just can't finish cleaning it. <laughs> so, is there any alternative way that we could brew all of our favorite coffee in a very short time without those limitations or downside? Yes, here is your alternative. So, Yes, there is a nice floral form. Uh, it means you can use your arrow press to brew your cup of coffee in the way you love, at any time, anywhere, and then with the frequency you love. You can literally use it to make a drink coffee, and you can even do an ice cream. And you can use it to make an espresso uh, with a real crema on top of your shot. And then you can also make it as a, uh, make a French press style coffee. Okay, so now we get uh, we get to some details. How long do you think uh, it will take for me to uh, make an espresso like that using my arrow press? Just random number. How long do you think it will take? One, One minute. minute? Uh, very close. Uh, two minutes. So uh, here I'm going to share with you. It's a no time. Here I'm going to share with you uh, the perfect espresso recipe. Crema guaranteed. I call it I ate in two. So, it's you use your uh, arrow press invertibly, which means you use it like this. Oh. And then you just put 18 grams of coffee grind here, and then put the filter on, and you fuse it for two minutes, and then uh, press it gently. You get a really nice cup. Okay, so you can literally take it anywhere you want. How, uh, what is the weight of the arrow press? 300 grams. It in general equals to two average apples weight. So basically, if you're going to a two weeks road trip and you take up your arrow press with you, it's just like nothing in your backpack. But think about if you're really demanding about a nice cup of coffee.